about Big Cedric. Today I got my boy Moses Cuevas in the house. He's gonna show you how to get down on the spread. Yeah, what's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? I hope all is well. I want to thank uh, Kevin for, for bringing me out today. I'm gonna show you uh, one way of how to make a spread and a prison cake. Uh, again, I feel there's too many different ways to make a, a spread or even a prison cake. Um, I'm gonna show you just a simple way, uh, a way I know how to do it. But uh, yeah, man. All right, let's go ahead and let's get it. So first, we're gonna need the soups. The soups, of course. Now, in any spread, the soups main ingredient that's mandatory. Uh, you gotta have the soups. And depending on how many people are gonna eat and grub, you want at least four to six. You're gonna have a whole, you know, all of like when I where I was at. It was uh, about a good chunk of us of homies and shit. So we would use at least to eight to ten soups. Yeah. And uh, sometimes the spray would be so big, it would take up the whole table. You know, and uh, well, it's only gonna be in Kevin today, so we're just gonna be smart. Um, we got the chips, some crackers, Slim Jims. I mean, what about this right here? This is something people don't usually eat. Yeah, uh, that's. Pretty much squeeze cheese, or like nacho cheese or uh, exactly. yeah, it's squeeze cheese, man. Um, so pretty much, you want to melt it, or you can even use it like that. You can uh, put it on the, the tortilla as a, like a spread, or you can use it like as a dressing. You know what I mean? Use it different ways. But uh, got some tuna. You gotta have that protein, yeah. especially trying to be slow or you know just in general. And uh, yeah, man. Oh, okay. got some beans and stuff. Uh, we were looking for the instant beans because that's more prison. Uh, instant, you just put hot water and they cook. But for, for today, we're going to just use regular pinto beans. So that's the dry ones, right? Yeah. Dry beans. So, you know what's crazy? Uh, the reef, the instant beans, I would, uh, I'll be hungry at times and I'll just open it up and just eat it like that. Like chips? Yeah, <laughs> man. So, yeah. Oh, let's get it. All right, so you know the first thing we gotta do, smash them soups up. So my boy's got the experience. He's gonna show you guys how it's done. So look, man, in, in there, uh, if we're cooking a big batch, we'll, we'll get a trash bag. Uh, how do we get trash bags? There's different ways. There's ways. Um, so what we'll do is, I'm, I'm gonna smash them real quick. Now, I, I do want to say this: the killer, and I and I highly recommend is, is these. This is the killer. Cut. Don't. I would say only use cut. Take two. Or, if you're using okay, if you're using four packets of soups, take two of the seasonings out. Two packets. Sodium. It's a killer, man. It can kill you. So be careful on the salt and the sodium and all that. But. I would recommend taking two out. Uh, maybe put it to the side. If it does, if you're spreading these uh, seasoning later, uh, get that packet you put to the side. Drizzle a little on, but just be careful with the sodium and salt and all that. Just fuck up your heart. Now, what Kevin's doing is just cutting up slim jim. That's what we would do with the sausages. Uh, but for me personally, when I would cut up the meat, I had a razor blade. Uh, you know. Again, there's ways, uh, depending on where you're at, you're not even allowed to have razor blades. Uh, there's just all kinds of different ways. So what he's doing is just cutting up the, the meat, the sausage, whatever, so we can throw it in the spread. Got all them sausages cut up right there. All right, we got all them sausages cut up. Now we got the Doritos. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is, uh, I'm gonna crush these uh, Doritos up a little bit, and I'm gonna add it to the with the soups. Oh, we're gonna throw the, the hot water in it so it can blow up. Um, but after, I'm saving these chips until the whole, when it's done, uh, we're gonna add these to the spread to give it that crunch. So that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna crush this up a little bit and uh, I'm gonna throw it in with the soups. Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that hot water ready. Moses went ahead and uh, got us some hot water. He had to use his creativity, but he got it got it done. Yeah, man, they're gonna use a, uh, a hot pot, man. And uh, I haven't seen one of these since prison. 
and personally I'm thinking about getting my own because these are pretty damn good and, and with these in there this they this gets us through a lot man with coffee I even bought some coffee today I, I figured since we're gonna do a cake and a little spare real quick why not you know but uh we're gonna use this to throw it in the spread to uh to cook it so if you can that's these I'm gonna throw the hot water in here Now you don't want to do too much, but you don't want to do too little. It is kind of a science, uh, like Kevin was saying earlier. It, it's true. Uh, again, it can't be perfect, but you want to be. That's good. That should be good. Uh, okay, now that I threw the water in there, this is when you throw the eggs in. You got two raw eggs so they can cook with the, the noodles. How you get eggs in there, man? Uh, the kitchen. Uh, depending on where you're at, uh, another inmate, probably whoever, you know, just sneak them in or, you know, uh, there, there's, there's ways. Okay. Right. But uh, mainly the kitchen, you know, you bring them back. Same thing with the meats and stuff. So what Moses is doing right now, he's stirring it all up. That, that way it can all sat, saturate all together and. And the eggs too, you, you, you want them to cook too. Just let it cook. Give it a, about a good few minutes, five minutes maybe. Let it all cook. Uh, yeah, man. It's gonna blow up, it's gonna expand, and that's what you want. That's... What are you gonna do right now? All right, you guys, so this is what I'm gonna do now. The It's pretty much cooked, as you see, it blew up. Um, but now I'm gonna... I'm a, I'm gonna poke a little hole to get all the liquid out. That way it ain't all soggy and, and wet. You don't want it too wet, but uh, you don't want it too dry either. So I'm, I'm gonna poke, pop a little hole and get all the, the water in. But that's also the flavor coming out too, so. But trust me, there's already a lot, enough salt and sodium in it, flavor. So, and everything we're gonna put in it. So now I'm gonna throw it on here. See, that's, it's more than enough for me and Kevin. More than enough. So now what I'm gonna do is, we got the tunas, we got the beans, even got the cheese, and we got the Slim Jims from earlier that Kevin uh, cut up, so. Now what you want to do is, you want to add the Slim Jims, the meat to it, okay? Now the tuna, for, for, for fish lovers, I know people don't love fish and all that. Uh, again, I, I'm trying to get as much protein, carb, all that, you know? So, you can add a can or two. I'm gonna probably add, since it's just me and Kevin, I brought two. Uh, what do you think, Kevin? Two cans or one? Go ahead, hit him. Two cans. Two cans. Okay, there's two cans. Uh, we're gonna throw the beans now. Again, I'm gonna let the liquid out. That way, it ain't too wet, soggy. I'm gonna add the beans now, you guys. Now usually the homies are, if you're doing well in prison, uh, this does all this costs money, you know, and if you're doing well, you can get it all yourself. But, you know, there was times when me and my people who I, who I was riding with, uh, we, you know, we all pitch in and, you know, someone will get the meat, someone will get the tortilla, someone will get the beans, whatever, you know, so it's like a group effort so we can all enjoy it as one, you know. But, uh, okay, I got the beans, tuna, uh, now what you want to do is get a fork or a spoon and now you want to mix it real good. This this is where it counts. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to use my hands, but you want to mix it real good, everything. 
Yeah, you just want to mix it real good so all the flavors can come all together and it just tastes better. Take your time with it, it's like making love. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got the nacho cheese now. Originally, I was going, see there's different ways you can do it. You can just throw it in here, the cheese. it be all cheese and stuff. Uh, but instead, I'm gonna grab the tortillas and Okay, here's one. So what I'm gonna do is open this up. Squeeze a little. Throw, throw a little, uh, and make it spread it like if it's jelly or you know peanut butter. You want to get the whole thing. Okay, that's done. Now you throw the spread into it, or whatever you got. And these are burritos, prison burritos pretty much. So, prison spread, but you know, it's a burrito. So now, you remember them chips from earlier? That's what we're gonna do, to give it that little bit of crunch. Crush them up a little bit. You can choose any type of chips, uh, whatever, you feel, you know, your favorite flavor, color, whatever. But uh, I chose the Twisted Barbecue because I wanted to give that a little bit of sweetness. So, yeah, man, that, that's pretty much it right there. So you got the chips, you got beans, you got the soup, uh, egg, tuna, Slim Jim, the meats, pretty much everything. So now you would roll it up. These. Or you can make it a big ass taco, either way. Obviously it's too big. You can make it a taco or burrito, but that's what it is, man. Give it a taste, man. You give it a bite. Oh, good, good. Give it a taste, man. I'm liking it. I like it. Gotta get the sausage, gotta get the beans. Everything. The eggs, the tuna, everything up in there, because that's your protein. Yeah. It's good for after you know you hit a workout. Yeah, that's especially Ow. what we would do. Like after a good, especially doing uh, burpees and all that. Fucking. It may be the purpose, but we're just feeding our, our body, our muscles, you know. And Did you pass me a uh, plate, huh? Yeah. Let's give it a taste test. Yeah, it's fire, man. You put two cans of tuna up in there. But it's not fishy, you know, it's just got a good taste, it's got a lot of flavor. And you got the crunch from the, the Fritos. You know what? Moses was right. You don't want to just put four soups and four packets in there. That'd be way too salty. You already got a lot of flavor from everything else. Probably about two packets. Two packets. I saved the other ones. Oh. And to be honest with you, it's actually not even too salty. Cause I've tasted like, where it's just too much salt. You can just taste it, the salt and sodium. And, you know, it's just something for the day. I mean, nothing too much, but. I read in the comments, in my other video, 
people would be roasting me, man. They're like, hey, Chino took one bite and he turned off the video, so I had to do this for you guys. I had to eat the whole burrito this time. <laughs> Big thank you to my boy Moses Cuevas. Check him out on his channel. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. He's got crazy workouts, you know, motivational films. You know, he speaks a lot of positivity doing his thing right now. So check him out. And I uh, appreciate you coming on the show, man. You know, thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Uh, I just want to say you guys out there, uh, keep fighting, man. No matter what your circumstances are, your situation, just never give up. Persevere through it all. And just have faith. You know, and uh, I want to thank Kevin also for having me out here. You know, and uh, just take care of you guys. And uh, check out my clothing brand, too, Eternal Legacy. Uh, you know, and I wish you guys all the best.